children are uh, this minute for the junior church. Okay. And while they're uh, going out, will you turn with me to Luke chapter 18? Luke chapter 18. Now, I don't know if you uh, uh, read the article in the paper this morning yes. together. Well, I got news for me. You should have been here this morning. Amen. Amen. In Christ. Amen. Amen. All of us are brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. In God. Amen. All of us have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. All right, I've got to get to this message here now. Luke chapter 18. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Beginning at verse number 35. Look at it, please. Verse number 35. <clears throat> Would someone read for us verses 35 and 36, please? And it came to pass, as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked, What is all right. Amen. <clears throat> and so now look at verse number 37. Mm -hmm. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth hey. passed him by. Right. <laughs> now obviously, Jesus had demonstrated his divine power many times. Uh -huh. Because they said that Jesus of Nazareth passes by. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to know this, amen, hallelujah, when Jesus passes by in your life, things uh -huh. can never be the same again. Amen. Because hallelujah, they're changed in Jesus. When Jesus passes by, something fantastic always happens. Amen. So now the word of God going to give credit to that statement. Right. Notice now, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, yes. have mercy yes. on me. Yes. Well, now, obviously, and of course him being a Jew, uh, <coughs> he obviously was aware of the prophecies concerning the Messiah, the coming of this one who would be called Jesus, for he would save his people from their sin. Now, uh, possibly he had heard of Jesus walking on the water. Perhaps he had heard of Jesus causing a lame man to walk. Perhaps he had heard of Jesus uh, in the temple one day. The man had a shortened arm. Hallelujah. And Jesus passed by, amen, and touched him in the man's arm grew out. Perhaps this blind man had heard of all of this because when they told him that Jesus passed by, he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And I'm so glad today, man, that Jesus is a merciful Savior. Aren't you glad for that? So In my sin and in my degradation, hallelujah, Jesus stopped, looked down upon my condition, reached down in love and lifted me out of sin and degradation and set my feet upon a rock. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your wonderful name. Now, the blind man represents a spiritual blind society. Uh -huh. And I want you to get this, please. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't have to convince you of this because you know this. Satan has blinded the eyes of the multitude. Uh -huh. And the word of God tells us, yeah. for broad is the way. Yeah. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Uh -huh. And many there be who go in that way. For straight in the gate. Yeah. And narrow is the yeah. way that lives on the life everlasting. Right. And few 
their feet who go in their act. That's why this church is not packed today. That's why the many churches are not packed today. But I can tell you one thing, the Mall of America is packed today. That's right, let the little talk up. It's packed today. In fact, they had to put a water control out there to keep those expensive boats from running into each other. The beach is packed today. The fishing hole is packed today. Amen. But as Brother Butch brought to our attention, man's heart is full of ingratitude. And I'm going to say in addition to that, his eyes are blinded to what God is doing in the universe. And I'm so glad, amen, that God gets his high when he looks low. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. He's concerned about our low condition. And he's concerned about what's happening in our lives. Aren't you glad for that? I'm so glad that God is omniscient God. Doing all things. Doing everything uh, at, the, uh, at the end, even at the beginning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And they, uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, now, now, I got to say this. The political leaders are totally confused and incompetent, dedicated to getting their salary, dedicated to getting money from the liquor industry, uh, dedicated to getting money from the tobacco industry. Can you imagine Bob Dole uh -huh. having lived in America to make a statement on national television that tobacco is not a name? Uh -huh. And then he expects y'all to vote for him? <laughs> what? But I want you to know that, that I got him on my prayer list. <laughs> of course, I'm not praying that he's going to be uh, successful in his presidency. I'm praying that he'll get saved. Seventy two years old is fine. Amen. He'll get down on his knees yeah. and turn his life over to the Lord and his Christ. Amen. Amen. And I don't care about the rest of them guys, man, and, and Perot and all of them, because <clears throat> they do not have the solution to a it no, society. Lord. Amen. Praise God. And I'm really concerned about this. I, 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 in the, on the opinion page, I, I, in the paper, can you imagine this? They're threatening pregnant teenage girls mm -hmm. uh, with a jail sentence. Can, can you imagine that? That yeah, doesn't make sense. Yeah. The child gets pregnant, is brought to the authority, the, the attention, and they indict that child and put her in jail. Huh. What insanity is that? It doesn't even make sense. Should we use a threat of jail time to the church sex uh, for indigent teens? <laughs> May God have mercy upon these ungodly, confused, uh, covetous, lying, uh -huh. even thugging politicians. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> May God, that's why God said, said pray for them. That's for right. Uh -huh. Because they show me our prayer. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. They show me. To, to prison. Huh. I find it. The system led by blinded leaders. After it can be given to a child without parental approval. But a teenage female can get an abortion without the parents. Okay. Uh -huh. Satan has blinded the eyes of Christendom now. Uh -huh. Not only in the world, but in Christendom. That's right. And I'm really concerned about the Presbyterian church <laughs> because they're wrestling right now over whether they should ordain homosexual priests. No, right now. And I have a, a friend of a Presbyterian church, and, and, and he and I are in uh, uh, contact over the telephone, and I let him know I'm praying for your church, and I'm praying for you, mm -hmm. that you will not compromise your position in Christ. Amen. Yeah, and take right. a stand for that which is right, for that which is beautiful. Reprehensible that that Catholic, the Catholic Church official 
the, the fact that pedophile priest, instead of, of, of transferring him to another parish where he did the same thing, uh -huh. did the same thing, uh, transferring the man wasn't going to change his behavior. No. The only thing that changes sinful behavior is the Holy Ghost power. That's right. Right. That found in Jesus. Take this blind eye of society. Mm -hmm. Started back there in the Garden of Eden. Told Adam and Eve, Yea, as God said, Thou shalt not surely die. Uh -huh. Or, uh, yea, as God said, Thou shalt surely die. But I say unto you, Thou shalt not surely die. The members of society are still believing Satan. Satan said, You don't need Jesus. You need money. Huh. You don't need Jesus who will make you rich toward God. Amen. You need fiduciary uh, stability. You need financial status. But I'm telling you, I'd rather have no money in my pocket. Amen. Than to have Jesus in my heart. And God will continue to take care of you. Amen. I want you to believe that. Amen. Amen. God, hallelujah. I that uh, uh, that the, the, the children of the righteous will never break bread. Amen. Amen. And we as God's people, we need to put our hand in God's hand. That's and right. let him lead us, amen, up to pass of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Amen. Jesus, have mercy upon me. 
then just like so many of your friends want to tell you, shut up. Don't you get excited about God. You're, 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 you're too enthused about the church. Right. I, I don't want to hear it. Uh, uh, why don't you be quiet? Well, I'm telling you, don't you be quiet. Right. Because Jesus saved you. Amen. Amen. And you might be a living witness. Amen. And after that, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. You Amen. shall be a witness unto me. That's what he said. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, the, the, uh, or Satan, didn't want her to be a witness for Jesus. He wanted her to stay in his power and in his control. But I'm so glad that Jesus is a merciful God. The, 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 the blind beggar cried, Jesus, have mercy on me. Uh -huh. They tried him, attempted to rebuke him, told him, hold your peace, hallelujah, praise God for him. But he cried the Lord, and he cried loud, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And that's the message we need to get out to those who are lost. And I'm just wondering, uh, last week I brought to your attention, I said, please uh, uh, give us the names of just two people. Now, don't y'all forget that. We didn't get any back in the offering last Sunday. Please, that's all you have to put the name and the address on a slip. See that we get it. And that's your way of witnessing. Because we're going to send out letters, we're going to put those people on the prayer list. When y'all meet together Saturday morning for prayer, we're going to have some names for y'all to pray over. Amen. And there's no reason why. There's no reason why that this church can't be packed. Yeah. Put it on the prayer list. Say, Lord God, double the attendance next time. Yeah. Will you believe God for that? Yeah. Double the attendance next time. Amen. Praise God. He said, uh, uh, Jesus, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad, amen, that Jesus is in the mercy given business. Amen. 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 Jesus uh, is telling us all those who are lost and separated from me, mm. bring them unto me. Uh -huh. Amen. And then what do we tell them? We tell them if you will come to Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus loves them. Jesus died for them. Jesus will forgive them. Jesus will save them. Jesus will deliver them. Hallelujah. Jesus will empower them. Jesus will prosper them. Do you believe that? Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When Jesus comes in, the alcohol will put down the body and pick up the pipe. The crack pipe will turn from his pipe, oh. amen, to pray. The philanthropy husband will stop running after every good woman and go home to his wife yeah. and to his children. Oh. Amen. Pray to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Then you talked about some of them unsaved preachers. When some of these guys get saved, they'll start preaching the unsearchable riches of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Amen. And start leading people instead of that way. Start leading them this way. Amen.